Hi and welcome back. Uh, today uh, I found my my tap and die set. Uh, so this cleanup was the rude round in here was uh, was worth it. I mean I ain't done I ain't completely finished cleaning it up, but I spent some time doing some other things. I built a couple of drawers and fixed here under my table. And uh, now uh, we'll see what I what I wanted to tap and die set for. And hold on, just let me pan. And get in a little bit. Like I said, I'm no videographer. Whatever. Okay. This right there is my uh, is my knife grinding jig. What I wanted it for is I added more holes right here and added a, re a rest on the bottom of it and everything. And I'm going to start drilling holes in the handle to match up with these. So what I'm doing here today, I spent after when I put this on there, drilling and tapped and everything, I lapped this this side right here to make sure it's flat and straight. Well, that's I'm doing that to the bottom this morning this morning here today so uh, don't ever 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 assume that angle iron is straight or square it's not this is an extruded product and it's extruded at extreme temperature so any little bend or warp or whatever like that in it stays in it when it's cool true it is now mild steel but they're not to, they're not in the uh, business of heat and beat they're in the process of extrude and go so anyway they can they can make a lot of this for what you could bend run it out flat and bend it if it was bent I don't know if you can see this or not but anyway if it was bent this corner right here this outside corner would be round and this corner in here would be square, square -er. So this is right here just extruded. They done a rounded die on the inside, so they did, and they done that to take away the stresses. They rounded this so it don't come in here square and have two squares right there close together that would give a break point. That's what this is for. So anyway, I added, you know, 15 or 20 new holes. And put this uh, ledge on there so I can hold my knife straight. And I'm just lapping this here on the, on the granite block just to make sure it's square. I done it yesterday with a file and uh, with a uh, mill bastard, and then done a little 120 on on the uh, wrapped on the file. Now I'm just lapping it here with 220. This is as far as I'll go. Is 220 on it so. Anyway, this is what I was needing them the tap and die set for, and so I'm gonna leave it right there. I get this done. I mean, this is like paint, lapping. This is like watching paint dry. You know, it's just back and forth, back and forth, and checking it, make sure that all the scratch marks go from all the way across. If there's any spot, you know, that's really shiny and the rest of it's dull, you know, that's kind of a high spot. You just got to keep working. I stuck this bowl in there so I'd have a handle and wrapped it in leather give it from hurting my hand that way I could just, I wouldn't be just bearing down on this on here hold on to it that way I'm just on all of it there all right till next time I'll I'll see you and God bless